All right, now we're going to do section 8.2. Um, I'm particularly going to be interested in this particular problem. So it says, according to a recent article, 98% of people who travel on the New Jersey Turnpike exceed the 60 mile per hour speed limit. Law enforcement officials are planning to covertly measure the speed of 750 cars on the turnpike and will compute the proportion of drivers who exceed the posted speed limit. Describe the sampling distribution of P hat. Well, first of all, you would need to check that n, uh, let me do it this way, n times p times 1 minus p is greater than or equal to, let me do it that way, greater than or equal to 10. Ah, can't remember how to do that. There it is. Okay. n was 750, p was 0 0.98 times, oh, I can't believe I did that. There we go. And then 1 minus p would be 0 0.02 because together they got to make 1. So let's go check that with the calculator. Matter of fact, I'm just going to make it be the calculator for once. Hold on. There it is. Haha. <laughs> Forgot which button to press. Okay, so over here, 750 times 0 0.98 times 0 0.02. Oops, except I messed up that up. There we go. Enter. Yep, it's 14.7 which is greater than 10, so, oops, sorry about that, yes, right, it's in, excuse me, it's normal, Ooh. okay, so you need that to ensure that the data is normal, right, the distribution is normal. The other thing you need is independency, you need that the 750 right here is less than 5% of capital N, let me put that in here, right here, we need that the 750 is less than 0 0.05 times capital N. But capital N is so big. Capital N is the number of people that are driving on the New Jersey Turnpike, which is really close to New York City. So it's a huge number of people. So of course 750 is less than that, so we don't really have to worry about that. But that ensures, ah, sorry about that, independence. Okay, It ensures that we have independence which we need, right, because this is based off the binomial distribution. Binomial distribution needs to have independence. All right, so we know it's normal, so that's the shape. Shape, normal, okay, cool. And that's why, because of this n times p thing. Then we need to know the center, okay. The center, oops, is going to be the mean of p hat. Right, the mean of the sampling distributions. How do different proportions of size seven or so, different mean? The proportion for different samples of size 750 differ. Well, the answer is that if you truly did this a random sample, they wouldn't differ. So the center should still be 0 0.98. Then what about the spread? Okay, the spread should be. Hold that thought. It's going to be a little possessed. There we go. Okay, spread is standard deviation of the p hats. How is it that the spread from different sample to different sample differs? That's what we're asking. Okay, so if you look at one sample of 750 and the next sample of 750 and the next sample of 750 and the next sample of 750, and all you look at from those samples is the proportions. So say like in the first sample, 97% speed, and the next sample 97.5% speed, and the next sample 97.75% speed, and so on. How are they differing from each other? What's the spread for those numbers? The formula for that is the square root of, okay, p times 1 minus p over n, okay? So for us, that would be the square root of 0 0.98 times 0 0.02 divided by n, which was 750. Now this is what we want to see the calculator help us with. So you do square root 0.98 times, it's really a lot easier if you do the time symbol there. Don't do the parentheses thing. They do the parentheses in the formula because it's the only way it makes sense for writing letters like that, but for you, just don't bother. Although, here, I'll show you how to do it. Second enter. If you do do it that way with the with the parentheses, you have to ensure you've got two sets of parentheses. You need a parentheses here. And let me insert a parentheses here. So I've got one parentheses around the 0.02 and another parentheses around the whole square root. Right? There's our spread. 0.0051. Alright, I'll see you